Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. This episode we are going to be taking a look at the new enchantment added in Minecraft 1.8. This is of course the Depth Strider enchantment. This allows the players to move through water unhindered by its resistance. The enchantment only works on boots and it can be put on other items using creative mode or other means, however it will only affect the player when it's on the boots. It comes in three different levels and in this episode we are going to find out the difference between each of these levels as well as finding out other useful information about this enchantment. For example, we want to find out if it affects players differently if they are partially submerged or fully submerged in water. So I've built this testing facility to do so. We will have players walk across all of the levels so we can compare their speeds. And we will do this with all three levels of the Depth Strider enchantment as well as without so we can get a good understanding of its effect. I've also set up these command blocks to teleport the players to be facing dead center in this direction so our test can be as accurate as possible. Our tests have shown us that Depth Strider 3 will allow you to move through water at the same speed as on land when fully submerged in water or partially. This includes when the player is sprinting or using speed potions. But there are more questions I have to ask. I want to find out if Depth Strider affects a player when only their head is submerged in water. And we should also do a test to see how water streams affect the speed of a player when they are swimming with the current or against it. So there was no difference when the head was submerged and you could clearly see that the water current had an effect on the player, allowing them to go faster than the regular walking speed. But this leaves me with just two more questions. What will happen if we use a cheaty level 10 depth strider enchantment and does this affect the vertical travel? For this I have set up two sets of water streams for our players to swim up, one with source blocks and the other with downwards flowing water. As you saw there was no increased speed from the cheaty level 10 enchantment and there is no difference swimming vertically either, which has covered most of the questions I had in mind for this episode. I thought I'd end this one with a little bit of enchanting to get a rough idea of how common the enchantment is, so I enchanted 50 boots at level 30 and 50 at level 24. In both tests 33% of the boots had the depth strider enchantment, all of them were at level 3 with 30 enchanting levels and with 24 enchanting levels only two enchantments were level 3 and the rest were level 2. So make your own conclusions from that little test but I think it's fair to say the enchantment is frequent and not a rare one to obtain. But that wraps things up for this episode. If you have enjoyed it please do hit that like button. A lot of time and effort goes into these episodes especially with the editing as you may have noticed. So as always if you have a question you want answered leave a comment down in the comment box but that is it for this episode so as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time